my friend asked me to produce a set of dice for his new pet. Actually, it's an old Norwegian military round, but there are no cases available. His solution was to use 93 by 62 as parent case. We worked together and came up with the 8 by 61 Norwegian S. It's his name. 93 by 62 cases is larger at the web according to SIP Sami drawings, but new cases are not. They are marginally bigger than 306 cases, so the new reamer can use both cases, but preferable 9362. He didn't want to wait until the rifle was chambered and then send in a handful of cases to a die maker. So we ordered a die reamer, or you can call it a resize reamer, to be able to produce dies in beforehand. And at the same time, be able to test them in a dummy chamber. And for us, that is the seater die. You will see me talking about reamers and die blanks. The reamer was not right the first time, but PTG produced a new one for free. And when anything goes downhill, it's hard to stop. And in this case, the two die blanks in 8mm came out with crooked offset holes from the factory. But no worries, PTG gave us new ones for free. You will see me testing it for warranty purpose. I include it here. We will produce a full length bussing die, a seater die ending up like a copy of Lee, dead length seater die, and a form die. To make dies, we need some sort of fixture, fixtures. You can dial it in in your bench and use a steady, or you can use a spider with four bolts and a backstop and jerk it around. Or, and it actually works, huh. you can take a piece of steel. I didn't do all of this the first time, but take a piece of steel. Turn it on the outside with a good shoulder and back bore it. Back bore it so this section is thicker. So a, a little bit of the threads stick outside the fixtures. Then add a nut. Line it up with the aid of a live or dead center. Tighten the nut. You can see it's backboard. Then flip it around, put it in the bench, bore a hole, thread it for a snug fit like this on the die. It's a very snug fit. Then use that die holder to produce the dies you want without removing the fixture. I throw it away and make a new one each time. So make some dies when you have the fixture ready. It's the best for alignment. So this is a video for my friend and nobody else, but I searched the internet and I could not find any place they tell you how to produce a die or a fixture for a die. Uh, but there's thousands of videos regarding chamber, or thread a barrel, etc., etc. And this is not more difficult than chambering a barrel or easier, whatever. But uh, there will be one clip about how to make an FL bussing die, one clip about a seated die and third about the form die and the introduction you're looking at right now. So, enjoy! Let's talk about PTG, reamer makers, JGS, reamer maker, 
Manson, Reamer Maker, Climber, when they're in business, Reamer Maker, and a couple more. What I have, I have dealt with the JGS, PTG the most recently, or for some years. Um, who's the best? I think it's the same, whatever you choose. Uh, make a search on the internet, you will go. We, you will get pros and cons, and it doesn't mean they are valid. It's in the eye of the beholder. But let's say this is the resize reamer from PTG. Uh, it's supposed to be another neck, a longer neck. But they actually made it like a regular resize reamer, and that it is. So it was not what I ordered. But what do they do? Yes, they tell me, this is yours, my friend. If we have the reamer core, we make you one in 24, 48 hours. They had the core, they made it in, let's say, 50 hours, and shipped it out. But what I have to complain about is not PTG, but the postal service. They use snail mail or they put it in a bottle and uh, kick it ashore. I don't know. It was sent the 15th of May. It's now, let's say, the 8th of June or something. So it hasn't arrived. But PTG makes it up. Good company. Dave Kiff is especially good when it comes to try to learn new things when you have a problem or have a question. And sometimes when you look at the net, you say, oh, PTG, you know, it's all the ladies, they don't talk with me, you know, they have no time. Guess what? We are in the computer age. How many mails, emails do you think that company get during one day? A whole lot. You sit home with one finger up your nose and the other one up the back and wonder, I may get myself a reamer, and then you send an email. Let's say 30% of them buys a reamer. The 70% 70% extras, bullshit, you have to answer them. And the phone calls, of course. They are busy, very busy. But they are good. I don't say better, but they are good. And that's the company I have the most experience with. That one is also a very good company. Don't get me wrong, they have sharp reamers, good reamers, good people to talk with, good service, everything. So make your pick. Manson, very good man, very good man. Climber, old one, uh, but look at their internet side, in business, not in business, take your pick. So that's about reamers, reamer makers. Everything is looked through the eye of the beholder. Some people are definitely negative by person. And the negative ones is the ones that screaming. Or if you get something that's wrong, you scream and you scream. If it's right, if they do a good job, you never hear, because you're satisfied. So, if you're satisfied, make a point of it. Tell them, tell the world that you are satisfied. Don't tell when you are not satisfied, you know. People are, me included, piece of shit. Okay, here is a uh, six millimeter die bought from you. You can see the round out on the outer diameter is fairly close to zero. I don't measure the bottom side. This is an example. This is the top side of the 8 mil millimeter die you made me. You can actually see that the hole is off center, meaning the hole is not in line with the die body. And that ain't good for me when I'm going to produce a die.
This is the 8 mil millimeter die setup. You can see it actually it is a millimeter indicator. It's actually way off. So this is not acceptable. End of story. Bye.